In this chapter, we're going to look at early Gothic architecture and statues and paintings. Uh, Gothic architecture uh, is a style uh, that appeared in northern France and Normandy, then later in England about uh, 1130 in the mid 13th century. It combined and developed several key elements from earlier styles, particularly from Romanesque architecture, including the rib vault, flying buttresses, and the pointed arch, and used them in innovative ways to create structures, particularly Gothic cathedrals and churches. And most of the architecture that we'll see are large examples of churches. The most notable are St. Denis Basilica, Sens Leon Cathedral, um, and most famous is Notre Dame, which is in Paris that was burnt down. Here's the inside of the ambulatory of the Basilica of St. Denis. And uh, here we can see the rib vaults, which are these um, vaulted ceilings that have kind of a heightened structure or these support columns that look kind of like bones coming out. And the other thing you'll note is the um, use of stained glass windows that create a particular light. This is the outside of the Basilica of St. Denis on the west side. And this is uh, another portal of the same church. You can see the stained glass windows. This is Sens Cathedral. You see the pointed arch, the decorative motifs, the sculptures on the top. Uh, height is the other thing that's really noted with early Gothic architecture. The Basilica of St. Denis was so important uh, because it was the burial place of French kings and uh, it's often where um, uh, many of the early um, examples of Gothic architecture emerged. The most uh, original and influential step was made by Abbot uh, Suget, who was the uh, creator of um, these radiating chapels off to the side. And he also used the pointed arch and revolt in new ways. And, uh, he invented a lot of the uh, intricate um, artwork that's on the inside, a lot of the um, icons and uh, various artifacts that you see. Suget was an admirer of the doctrines of early Christian philosopher John uh, Scotus. And what he said was um, that light was a divine manifestation and that all things were material light. And so here we see in a, a different cathedral um, how light is an important aspect. It comes through the stained glass, it changes the colors, floods throughout the space. Here you can see the, the height, the rib vaults. This is Leon Cathedral. Sometimes these large windows in the center are called the Rose Window. Here you can see an example of buttresses. That's the side um, supports. As the structures got bigger, they had to figure out a way to um, support the outside. So this is uh, Notre Dame that's in Paris. This uh, uh, site recently burnt down. It's a tragedy, but um, you can see a couple things here. The pointed arch, the grand doors. I've been to Notre Dame uh, a few times, and uh, one thing uh, that I remember before it burnt down is the great size on the inside, um, the heightened sense of spirituality as you enter uh, the inside, and the wonderful color that comes through of the stained glass windows. Here you can see an example of the flying buttresses and the many structures that were used to support these buildings as they got bigger and bigger. Uh, the architects had to figure out ways to support, and so uh, support structures were put on the outside of the building to support the great weight of the stones. And English um, uh, Gothic art has a slightly different style. It's more reserved. Um, 
it's not quite as large, doesn't have quite the height, um, but it still uses the same rib vaults and pointed arches uh, that we see in uh, the French churches. So this section we're going to explore Gothic art. I hope you enjoy reading the content, reading about architecture. We'll also take a look at some of the sculpture and paintings which we'll explore in other videos.